वेलकम बैक सो वी आर मूविंग टू आवर नेक्स्ट टू सेट सो दिस विल बी आवर थर्ड सेट सो वी आर क्रिएटिंग दिस पेज यूजिंग आवर सेम साइजेस ऑफ द पेपर द मैटिंग साइज एंड द डिजाइनर पेपर साइज साइजेस आर ऑन द स्क्रीन एंड फॉर दिस पेज वी आर यूजिंग three tags so um for first page uh, you remember we created uh, i'll show you first page so we created this page but we used larger tags but for this one we are using little bit smaller tags and we are using our third tag as well so i have already cut here and measurements are the same measurements um which i gave you in last video but it's okay i will just give it to you again so uh, this tag measures the die itself measures um 6 and 3 quarter by 3 and 1/2 so this whole tag is 6 and 3 quarter by 3 and 1/2 and then we crease like a, um, score this on half inches so this will be now 6 by 3 and 1/2 and uh, i mean uh, we creased on 3 quarter so it will be 6 and 3 and 1/2 and the matting paper will be Five and three quarter by three and a quarter, so, and we need two of these, and then we need one large tag too. So this large tag measures eight and a one additional line basically, <laughs> but for us, but for the easier, uh, we will get uh, eight by four and a quarter. So this. big tag will be 8 and 4 and a quarter and this we will crease on 3/4 so our basic tag will be almost 7 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter and our designer paper will be 7 by 4 um one line less than 4 so you can just um you can just get uh 3 and 3 quarter so it's it will be easy when we get the 8 inches long so these three tags we are playing with today so uh first we will stick these tags like that right here first i'll just stick them all right so these three tags are ready uh, now we will stick it on uh, base paper first and uh, we will use our magnet and then we will use our designer paper so make sure these tags are on the center properly and you can keep little bit distance between these two tags so um, your distance should be equal from top to the tag edge and then below so um it will look pretty <laughs> so you can just use your ruler if you want to do it but i'm just eyeballing it uh and i will just make a mark where i have to put my tag stick my tag in between and um since we are using designer paper they will go away but if you put a mark by mistake on the tag just erase it and uh, just use your glue and stick those right here use this tag and i'm creating a cassette here i just forgot to make
If you forgot, it's really easy to create, as you see. <laughs> uh, I always forgot to do that. So I think I'm a little bit off center for this, this designer paper, but that's fine. Uh, I will make sure they are on the center. It, this thing is on the center. Since this curve guides me, uh, it's on the center. So I'll just let's stick this. If you want, just make a mark. I will just make a mark because I know I will make mistake. So just both sides. and just stick it right there all right all right and now we will use the magnets and uh, I'm using two magnets. I'm not using uh, washer uh, because uh, you know these two pages will have some pictures and all. So we are using uh, two magnets. So I'm using uh, magnets like that. So here one magnet. Stick it right here. Make sure you just push this space in and then make a mark. And if you want more stronger, you can use two magnets on these two tags as well. It's up to you. Um, actually, we should do that, but it's okay. It's, uh, I'm running out of magnets right now, so just saving them for my future albums. So let's check if they stick properly. Right. It is. It is sticking. They are strong. It's strong magnet. So now we are using our designer paper here, and we are using a big, uh, beautiful tag behind this page. So just use this side. These pages are so beautiful. I'm just debating myself which side I have to use. I am in love with both sides. That's the problem with double-sided papers. So long, long back. back uh, we used to get one-sided pages and I prefer those. <laughs> nicely and this page is beautiful and you can use like four small pictures or two long pictures or one huge picture here and if you close it it stays like that this page is done and we will move on to our next page and uh, for that of course, we need our um, designer paper. Let me get that quickly. Here is our designer paper and uh, this one. I really like wood grain back, but I love, I am just chic person. So I always like uh, uh, this kind of uh, laces and also <laughs> I'm just debating myself. Let's see if uh, I can use other side because we are using floral tags 
for this one too. So let's check what page we are using. This is very simple page. Uh, I think for this page I'm using wood grain. I'll go for that. So that's okay. So our designer paper, matting paper and uh, I have one tag, the large tag I have already a measurement on uh, this one, uh, same measurement you are using but let's create that gusset quickly. And uh, we are um, of course using magnet on each and every paper. Uh, if you don't have a magnet, uh, just use a uh, cute uh, uh, twine or uh, any kind of uh, lace or seam binding works really cute. And since we are using tag, that is another good option. You can make a hole right here and you can use your uh, uh, twine because I know um, getting magnets is not easy sometimes. So. Since I have them, I'm using them, but uh, feel free to uh, use twine or uh, velcro also good, but I don't recommend velcro. It's uh, it's really messy option. I'm sorry. I don't know why I gave that option. <laughs> anyway, so um, just stick this in the center properly. While giving tutorials, I always mess up with my centers, but it's okay. Uh, I don't want my head under the camera, so I'm just, I just prefer to create my project a little bit crooked. <laughs> anyway, so uh, our first designer paper will take it out for a while and uh, we just make sure we will stick this page. like that and uh, since this tag is big I'm keeping this uh, page as it is because I really want this album just for picture purpose so I'm uh, most of the uh, pages you already seen I kept this whole page empty I didn't put anything but you can use pockets or anything corners or however you want but I'm uh, I promised myself I'm making this album very easy and simple yet elegant. So what I'm doing, um, just to give a little bit um, like you know dramatic touch <laughs> since it's easy album. Uh, I don't want it like very simple one as well, very much simple one. So what I did, uh, since this tag is big, I just got this get fold what i did we just cut we need to cut a4 size paper in the size of this tag like that see behind that like that okay so if you want you can use designer paper i'm out of designer papers but um uh, uh, i can use any um Let's let's just stick this one. So if I have a little bit designer paper left, what I will do, I will just cut this part and stick the designer paper right here. But I don't want to waste whole designer paper here just to cover this part. I don't want that. So what I will do, we will just stick it. And what we will do, we will create a pocket. Just a little more drama. <laughs> Okay, so um, what I'll do, I'll just uh, use a glue on three sides. Uh, you can use your uh, uh, double sided tape here if you want to, but uh, I'm using glue. So just make a tiny line here and on the bottom. If you don't want to create a bottom, you can uh, keep this open. So this will be like a belly band kind of thing but I want this pocket because I'm creating smaller tags to go inside um, or to hide uh, or to keep some additional pictures so we need some hidden pockets uh, we don't have much in this album but 
we are planning to make couple so just make sure they are aligned properly on the center so it will be hidden it, if it's not on center it will show from either side and uh, that surprise effect will go away so you just need to be careful with this one so just do it on center so it will not show from from the top and once you open this one this one creates a little bit more uh, space for your picture uh, it's a quite a big space so like a three by five you can put some pictures here and then we, we will have this um, small cute pocket here where you can stick your tags or additional pictures or whatever you want to do now it's time to stick the tag and uh, use the magnet so just use a glue right here and uh, make sure you are on the center if you don't want to um, on the center that's okay but uh, since we created this page I just want this page line up with this tag so just go for that so I'm carefully sticking it off since this back side we already stick it's a little bit hard for me to hold it but I got it and on the same time you need to keep that cassette you created don't want to get rid of that so just make sure you are not on that or your glue is not on that so just make sure to wipe off additional glue otherwise eventually it will stick on your page and now these two tags will look really pretty on the line like like that and uh, let's see which page will go well I think this one I prefer the wooden one so without any thinking just go for that um, I just don't want this page so just stick that but before that we need a magnet so here is a space for a magnet or uh, what I prefer we can just use magnet in the center so it will be more sturdy right so let's put it here and then here so get your magnet and I'm using two magnets since this part is bulky and one is here okay so let's just finish this all right and then use the glue and then just make sure you just push this cassette in like pull it little bit this little bit not much and then you just stick this okay otherwise this cassette will go in the other side and uh, magnet will not properly stick okay so just use another tape all right and then we will use our designer paper and I think we need to use this um, glue on the both sides because if that magnet get loose it will uh, play inside here and there it will run but it never happen but you never know you never know what will happen in this world and uh, let's stick this properly on the 
center all four corners need to line up like that awesome i love it so we will use all the decorative papers here mostly i am using decorative paper on this part and plain papers on the inside since we are using pictures anyways so this goes like that and i am i like it if, uh, since we used magnet right here so it stays nice and form on the center and if you want uh, you can create a hole here and uh, uh, use a beautiful pink or green color seam binding and you can wrap it like that and make a bow oh, amazing so these two pages are done i hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial so far now we are moving to our next two pages which will be our seventh and eighth page so stay tuned and thank you so much